dream so fine I'll always remember Me and my friends at that time When we're hot, we're in the zone Part of the team, never alone Me and my friends at that What's all this paper? You know the team statistics that are supposed to be entered after every game? You mean you haven't done it this season? Uh, I haven't done it any season. <laughs> well, maybe you should uh, not... many paper cuts. Very cranky. Go away. Mary Beth, I got a major emergency. Yes, cut your hair. No, that's not... Ah, what's wrong with my hair? Ignore her. <laughs> what's the problem? Well, I got my first big college interview coming up. It's my whole future and I want to make a good impression. What do I do? Stop being so nervous. Why do I look nervous? Yes. Like a lobster at a free buffet. <laughs> Just relax. And you got the grades, the SAT scores, you got nothing to worry about. Right, Mary Beth? Repeating, cut your hair. Ah, what? <laughs> <laughs> yes, two aces. Awesome. Look at Eugene pounding away at the computer. You do a little extra homework, <laughs> Eugene. Yeah, what are you studying? Well, at the moment, a pair of queens. Okay, hold on. Come on, Papa needs a new pair of shoes. Oh, I win! All right, oh. Eugene. Aren't you supposed to be 21 to gamble on the internet? No, you just have to say you're 21. <laughs> ah. Oh, so, so when do you get your money? Well, if you win, they send you a nice little check, and if you lose, they just put on your credit card. Hey, come on, guys, it's almost time. Oh. Oh. Where are you guys going? They're changing the mannequins at Victoria's Secret. <laughs> I'll catch up with you guys. I'm just going to play a few more hands. All right, then. Uh, don't forget to quit while you're ahead. Uh. <laughs> okay, what do we got? Come on. Oh, full house. Unbeatable. How's it going? But I'm on a well-buttered roll. <laughs> hey, I'm Bill. Hey, Eugene. How you doing? Good, good. You know, kind of a gambler myself. If you ever want to bet on something besides cards, here's my number. Um, that's okay. I mean, this is just for fun, you know. That's cool. I just figured you might want to make a friendly wager. You can make some serious cash. Oh, thanks anyway, really. All right. See you, man. <laughs> See you. Okay, what do we got? Make me a winner and... Oh, shoot! <sighs> Tell me again. Uh, what happened? I was at the dentist. Oh, let me. She was at the dentist and her mouth is full of Novocaine. What's wrong? You have a cavity? Mm -mm. Well, she wanted to look her best for the Stanford interview, so she tried highlighting her hair. My, my oof. I am my oof. <laughs> exactly. She chipped her tooth trying to pull the cap off the highlighter bottle. <laughs> oh, what a drag. Is that a hump on your back? It's not a hump. It's an ice pack. When she saw her tip too, she fainted, fell into the bathtub, and hurt her back. Is that a hump? Is that a hump? Oh, four more months and they graduate. Well, looks like you have everything under control. Hey, good luck with your interview. Yeah, I need your help. What'd she say? She wants you to take her place in the interview. You know, say you're her, because no one else Chrissy better than you. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, no, I can't do that. That's wrong. Tell her. She wants me to tell you that if you don't help her, she's going to tell your mom what you did in New York. <gasps> you wouldn't. Oh, uh, yes, I would. She said, oh, yeah, yes. I heard her, and I will do it. Thank you. Oh, Ooh, I touched the hump. That is not a hump. <laughs> so, Eugene, how much have you won at poker so far? I lost five hundred dollars. What? You lost five hundred bucks on internet poker? Are you insane? Man, are you an idiot? Are you an insane idiot? <laughs> Which question do I answer first? Why didn't you quit while you were ahead? Look, I tried, but you know, I thought one more hand couldn't hurt. Well, guess what? What? It hurt! <laughs> really bad! Now what am I gonna do? You mean before or after your dad kicks your butt from here to Chicago? <laughs> Eugene, I had problems with credit cards, too, man. The best thing to do is just tell your dad. <laughs> well, in your case, tell him when he's asleep. <laughs> but you gotta do it. Yeah, 
Well, you guys are right. Shit. All right, guys, good practice. <laughs> I'm off to the Pacers game. Pacers rule, they're running the Knicks off the court. Yeah. <laughs> Doubt it. Reggie and Mark Jackson are out with injuries. Oh, man, the Pacers are gonna suck. <laughs> I hate to see him lose, but Sheila's kind of cute doing the wave. <laughs> hey, hey, coach, you always get to go to the games. I mean, how come you don't take one of us? Well, I would, but have you seen Sheila? <laughs> Later, boys. <laughs> hey, come on, let's go to the mall so we can watch the game. Uh, I'll meet you guys out there. I'm just going to call my dad. All right, see you in the gym. All right. Yeah. Hi, Bill. Yeah, this is Eugene Brown. Right, right. I met you at the stadium. I'm good, thanks. Listen, um, I was thinking of putting some money on the Pacers game. You can? <laughs> Great. Um, let's see, uh, how about 500 on the Knicks? Really? <laughs> of course I'm good for it. Thanks. your interview, Mary Beth. I'm Christy, remember? Mary Beth, Cynthia. You're welcome. Just stop talking. You're annoying me. Okay. Hello. I'm Linda Hernandez. Please sit down. Hi, I'm Christy. Christy Ford. Nice to meet you, Christy. Excuse me a minute. Where did I leave my pacer tickets? Top drawer, left side, like always. Thanks, Mary Beth. Did he just call you Mary Beth? Oh, uh, poor man's a little... Whew, he can't remember names. That's why all the players have their names printed on their backs. I see. Now, your application indicates you're pre-med. Yes. Oh, uh, I am so interested in medicine. So interested. Because it, it's just so interesting <laughs> we have a top-ranked program in fact our students even study on human cadavers oh. i mean uh ach du lieber <laughs> did i mention i study german wunderbar ich spreche auch deutsch <laughs> ja <laughs> anyway medicine is so interesting <laughs> so you said well Tell me about Christy Ford. Mm, where do I start? Well, uh, I love school. I love reading. I love shopping. Oh, no, no, I mean, I don't love shopping. That's my friend, Mary Beth, who you really have to meet someday. She's fabulous. You know, I'm a big reader myself. I love the classics. Shakespeare, yeah. Dickens, Jane Austen. Although I can't resist a good trashy novel. I'm a sucker for anything by Jackie Collins. Yes! Oh, I just love those books. <laughs> oh, you know, I have a good feeling about you, Christy. Oh. Hey, you guys, I gotta hit the road. Oh, yeah, and I gotta get Christy some flowers. You guys have a fight? I laughed at her hump, man. <laughs> See you never. What's up, Eugene? Are you still worried about paying your dad back? No, that's not it. Man, I just lost another 500. What? Where'd you get that kind of money? Look, man, I just made a bet with this guy over the phone. I thought if I could make some quick cash, you know, I could settle up with my dad. Man, I can't believe you lied to me about talking to your father. I'm sorry. See, great, now you owe a thousand bucks. Eugenie's bookies are bad news. If you don't pay up, they'll break your face. Well, he seems like a nice guy. Oh, great. Well, in that case, he'll uh, break your face and then send you a get well card. <laughs> they'd be talking to me again i mean talking to you again oh i don't know what i mean don't worry you're in and you know it was fun being you knowing i could be me again whenever i wanted <laughs> but it must be hard for you because you're stuck being you forever oh. thanks oh christy yes 
Oh, I, I mean, yes, here she is. Uh, <laughs> hi, Mrs. Hernandez. Guten Tag. <laughs> ja, Gesundheit. <laughs> I had some free time, thought I'd do a little shopping. Oh. Hello. I'm Linda Hernandez. Hi, I'm, I'm Mary Beth, Mary Beth Pepperton. Oh, <laughs> the shopper. Christy raves all about you. Oh, I bet she does. <laughs> Good news, Christy. I'm staying in town an extra day, so I thought I'd come see you cheer at the game. See me? Cheer? Oh, you don't have to do that. No, I want to. Okay. Go Deering, raw! There you saw it. No, see. I'll see you at the game. It was nice meeting you, Mary Beth. Gosh, that's it. We're never going to be able to keep the charade at the game. What are we going to do? What? 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 Okay, okay. Your voice is doing that annoying shrill oh. thing. <laughs> we got this far. We'll get through the game. Yeah, but you haven't been a cheerleader in four years. Do you remember any of the routines? The pyramid, the hook and ladder, the wiggy wag with the poo poo poo? <laughs> so where else do you want to go to college, huh? Eugene! How's it going? That Pacers game was awesome, huh? Not for me. Yeah, well, you win some, you lose some. Seems like I lose more than I win. <laughs> Listen, you owe me 500 bucks, but I may have a way you don't have to pay me back. Okay. What is it? Well, you, you got a game tomorrow, right? Biggest one of the season. Well, this is the deal. You make sure the tornadoes lose, and I'll forget about the 500 you owe me. You mean throw the game? Something like that. There's that plan. What else you got? You pay me now. Look, I don't have the money. And besides, I can't throw the game. It decides whether or not we go to the playoffs. I'm not going to do that to my team. Look, kid, you owe me. If the Tornadoes don't lose tomorrow, it'll be the last time you play basketball for a long time. Where's Mary Beth? And why aren't you in your rah rah get up? Coach, for tonight's game, I am Mary Beth. Whatever you need, I'll get. Okay. Get me Mary Beth. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, moms and dads, friends and fans, your Tornado Girls! <laughs> Attention, please. It's our last game of the season and we're undefeated. We'd like to thank everyone for supporting our team. So, thanks. <laughs> Let's give it up for the cheerleaders and especially my girlfriend, Christy Ford. Uh, Christy, why is your boyfriend kissing Mary Beth? Uh, because he's a cheater. <laughs> Mary Beth, what'd you do that for? I'm Christy, and you should know that after going out with me for almost two years. What is going on? Yeah, have you two gone fruity? <laughs> Mrs. Hernandez, I have a confession. I'm confused here. Woodbridge has lost all their games this year, and we've won all ours. But we're still down by ten. Anyone care to clear that up for me? Our game's off, coach. You think? <laughs> and Eugene. Did you know the game started? Look, I'm sorry, coach. I'll do better, I promise. Make sure you do, or I'll pull you out. Now let's get back out there and start this thing over. Let's go. Yeah. Hey, hey, if, if your game's off because I gave you such a hard time yesterday, well, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's not it. You're right, Silk. That bookie, he threatened me. He wants me to throw the game. That, that's why you're stinking up the court? No, no, no. I'm not going to do it. I'm just a little nervous. Well, you sure that's all it is? <laughs> you 
You don't believe me. Yeah, why should I? But you've been lying to me all along. How do I know you're not still lying? I wouldn't throw the game. I wouldn't do that to the team. You've got to believe me. I don't know, man. Eugene's wide open. White, two for deer. Come on, Eugene, just focus now. Take your time. All we gotta do is make one and we win. my team. Then you're just gonna have to pay. Look, I'll pay you as soon as I get some cash. I swear I will. Yeah, well, that's not good enough. Uh, hey! You touch that kid again and I'll put you through their wall. It's between me and him. He owes me a lot of money. Oh, for gambling? Think again. Involving kids in gambling is against the law. You took a risk and you just lost. Now get lost. This ain't over, Eugene. Oh, yes, it is. If I ever hear you hassle any of these kids, I'll have you thrown in jail. Now get! Thanks, Coach. Yeah, I have to tell Coach, man. I didn't want you getting hurt. I wish you would have told him a little sooner. <laughs> Eugene, what were you thinking? Coach, I'm so sorry. I got so caught up in this gambling thing and didn't realize I have a problem. I never know when to quit. Gambling is a serious thing. A lot of people ruin their lives thinking they're going to make a quick buck. Guess I'm one of those people. So, uh, what's going to happen now? I mean, am I off the team? You should be. But you showed a lot of guts not throwing the game. Thanks, Coach. But you got to know, I'm not always going to be around to bail you out. You need to tell your parents you have a problem and get some help. Coach, you can bet on it. Oof. Bad choice of words. <laughs> Come on, let's go. You kids are giving me a headache. Please give me another chance. I know it was wrong, but there's so much pressure to be perfect. And I had Novocaine and I couldn't talk. And she had a hump. It wasn't like a hump. <laughs> I just think Michael Richards is back on NBC. Uh, excuse me, ladies. It's a new fall show about a PI. We're gonna have fun with that Seinfeld guy. Yeah. Can I help you? I'm uh yeah, I'm just checking the doors. He knows every trick, he's pretty slick. Michael Richards is a private investigator. Tony, thanks a lot. The Michael Richards Show premieres Tuesday, October 24th on NBC. Boy. So fine, I'll always remember 
all look really good on your school record. <laughs> and now for the Teacher of the Year Award. Now this is a very special honor, voted by all the students for the teacher you love the best. And the winner is... Not me. <laughs> Mr. McHenry! Matt, come on! Thank you, thank you. After 30 years of teaching here, it's nice to know that these gray hairs have been worth it. <laughs> thank you. This means an awful lot to me. Oh, I'm so glad Mr. McHenry won. He's the best teacher in the school. Can you imagine being in high school for 30 years? <laughs> and I'm just trying to make it to this assembly. <laughs> Team Captain Michael Manning has a few words to say about our big game next week. <clears throat> Tornado Zoo! <laughs> hey, wait, a few more words, please. <laughs> hey, well, we're playing the Badgers, and they're number one in the state. We're number two. So if we want to be number one, we got to kick the number two right out of there. <laughs> Because it is such an important game, I just found out it's going to be on TV. <laughs> and now, a word from your school board, Mr. Beeson. I'm sure you're all very aware of the problems schools around the country are having with violence and lack of discipline. In response, the school boards decided to implement a new policy. Starting next week, there will be school uniforms. You know, it's not a popular decision, but we know what's best for you kids. Dress code? I'm going to be wearing the same thing as everyone else? <laughs> Like geese. I know, look at us. I mean, somewhere in town there's a Gap store with nothing left but socks. <laughs> I look like my dad. <laughs> Me too. At least we get to choose our own underwear. Underwear? I thought that was against the rules. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> well, we can't do anything about these uniforms now. We better get to class. Hey, Mary Beth, Christy, I'm gonna make all your dreams come true. Oh, you're moving far, far away. Bye-bye. <laughs> Ignoring you. Talking to the nice one. <laughs> anyway, the lottery's up to $100 million. Really? $100 million? Yeah, so, you know, I figured we'd put our money together and buy a bunch of tickets. Don't you have to be 18 to buy those? I just had a birthday, remember? Oh, that's right, you forgot. No, I remembered. I didn't care. <laughs> anyway, I'm in for 20. Yeah, yeah, I'm on me too. Great, well, wish me luck, girls. Good luck, Eugene. Make us rich. <laughs> and there we were in downtown Chicago, protesting the Vietnam War, marching and chanting. Man, that must have been intense. Oh, it was. There were thousands of us, TV cameras everywhere. And we were chanting, the whole world is watching. The whole world is watching. Man, if I could protest against something, it would be these lame uniforms. <laughs> and Tommy Hilfiger's crying, Silk, come back to me. <laughs> Well, then do it. If you believe in something, let your voice be heard. You mean like demonstrate? I'd start a petition, call the school board, write letters. What if that doesn't do it? Well, if this is really important to you, have a protest. Hey, well, let's do it, man. I'm up for it. Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah. I'll make a sign that says, uh, school uniforms are wrong because no one should tell you what to wear. You should be able to decide that for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it's going to be a really big sign. <laughs> here it is. I got the winning lottery numbers right here. Oh, this is so exciting. I got all my numbers, too. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Three, five, <gasps> nine, ooh, 17, <gasps> 32, 43. No! Get off! Did 
you guys hear the bell? No one's supposed to be in the hallways. But we're celebrating. You'll be celebrating in detention if you don't get to class. <laughs> oh, really? Celebrate this. <laughs> what? I think he meant... <laughs> no, 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 no. What he really meant to say was... <laughs> Someone better have a good explanation for this. We do. We just want a hundred million dollars. See? <laughs> you didn't win. You missed the last number. What? Eugene, you read the number wrong. <laughs> Sorry. Maybe I need glasses. You mean we're not hundred millionaires? No, we're three losers in bad clothes. No, you didn't lose everything. You won an all-expense paid trip to <laughs> detention. <laughs> Man, this is unbelievable. It's like the biggest turnout we've had all week. Mary Beth, these clothes were a great idea. Well, if we're gonna protest like they did in the 60s, we gotta act the part, man. <laughs> all right, we gotta keep this demonstration going until the school board realizes that we have the right to wear what we want. Yeah! yeah! No dress code! 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 May I have your attention for a moment, please? I've just been to a meeting with the school board and Principal Watkins, and uh, victory is yours. Yeah! Hey, well, let's go for three-day weekends. Come on. Monday's off. Monday's off. Monday's off. Mr. McHenry, this is all because of you. Oh, thanks. We owe you. In fact, we'll take you to lunch after class tomorrow to celebrate. Well, I hate to bum you guys out, but I... I won't be in class tomorrow. Okay, you deserve a day off. Well, actually, I'm going to have a lot of days off. You see, I've been fired. I feel so bad for Mr. McHenry. How could they fire him? Just for giving us the idea to have a protest? Yeah, that's what he said. Plus, he was only two years away from retiring. I mean, that's got to really hurt. Oh, that is so wrong, man. I mean, they don't know what a great teacher he is. And that guy can make any subject interesting. Yeah, when he compared the Lewis and Clark expedition to the Beastie Boys North American tour, I was like, dude, I finally get it. <laughs> we can't just let this happen. Yeah. Yeah, it's like what Mr. McKenry says. If you don't like something, speak up. Maybe it's time for another protest. Yeah, I mean, it worked for the dress code. Let's do it. Let's get Mr. McHenry's job back. Right. Dad, dad. My life is ruined. First this, then suspension, then expulsion, then jail. Oh, I'm a red-headed crime scene. There are just so many things wrong with this picture. The only time I've ever been told to scrub a floor was once on April Fool's Day. <laughs> Mother and I laughed about that one for days. Oh, you look disgusting. Roast water, chewed up gum. Since when does gum wiggle? <laughs> Bad enough we have detention without you two waking me up. Eugene, will you get to work? Yeah, you little bird. Not only did you get us detention, but you're making us do all the work. Yeah, and get your lazy slacker butt in gear or you're gonna have two cranky chicks all up in your face. Oh, oh, where did that come from? Rags. I'll go get some more rags. No, oh. oh. he's driving me crazy. Tell me about it. We should totally do something to get him back. You mean, like, maybe nailing him with these two buckets of water? No, when you first came here, you were such a sweet girl. Now you have this total bad side. Hug! <laughs> oh, get ready. Here he comes. Okay. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, oh,
judging from your faces, it doesn't seem like Mr. McHenry got his job back. Nope. The school board wouldn't budge. And Mr. Beeson never gave a straight answer to any of our questions. Oh, he is such a puke. It doesn't make any sense. You know, they fired a perfectly good teacher for such a lame reason. Hey, there's the camera crew covering tomorrow's game. We'd better win. Everybody's going to be watching. Yeah. The whole world is watching. Well, maybe just Indiana and some guy in Kentucky with a dish, but... <laughs> no, no, no. Remember what Mr. McHenry said about that demonstration in Chicago? They were on TV and everyone was chanting, the whole world is watching. We could do that. Yeah. Yeah, we could tell the whole world how unfair the school board's been to Mr. McHenry. Dude, I'm so on board. Look, I'll go to center court and I will moan the world. There's a picture. <laughs> And after you're carried off to prison, we'll have a sit-in. The school board is going to have to rehire Mr. McHenry. Or at least tell the whole world the stupid reason they fired him. Wait a minute, you guys. What if the sit-in doesn't go like we expect? It has to. Yeah, but what if it doesn't? What if it's not over before the game starts? Well, it's not going to happen. Because the game's not starting until it works. Oh, that's right. right. <laughs> Welcome, sports fans, to Indiana basketball at its finest. Tonight, we have a thrilling matchup between the two top teams in the state. Okay, let's do it. Bring back Mac! Bring back Mac! Bring back Mac! Wait, what, what's this? The tornadoes are sitting down and staging some kind of protest. Let's find out what this is all about. Bring back Mac! Bring back Mac! Bring back Mac! Guys, tell us, who's Mac and why do you want him back? Mac is Mr. McHenry and one of Daring's best teachers, and he was fired for no good reason. This is an outrage. They're making us look like fools. Calm down. They promised me it'd be over before game time. This is over now. Either you take care of it, or I will. I'll handle it. Here comes the Tornadoes coach, Mike Katowinski. Coach, what's your take on can this? Can we just have a second here? Okay, you guys, I said you can have the demonstration, but it's time to wrap it up. We got a game to play. We can't stop now, Coach. Not until Beeson rehires McHenry. Look, I'm on your side. I like McHenry as much as you. But now isn't the time. Sure it is. With the media here, this is the perfect time. Yeah, we tried petitions and writing letters, and our parents even called, but nothing worked. And no one will tell us anything. But well, we're not going to solve this now. We've got a game to play. Let's go. I guess that's it, you guys. Come on, Julie. Silk. Sorry, Coach, but this is really important. We have to do this for Mr. McHenry. The school board at least owes us an explanation. That's right. Bring, Bring back Mac. 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 Listen to that. Everyone's at the game except us. We should be in there. This stinks. You know, we've had more detention than that kid Lester Eberhard. You know, the one they keep catching trying on the cheerleading uniforms? <laughs> Come on, the sooner we can sort through Principal Watkins' papers, the sooner we can get out of here. You know this is all your fault. My fault, Miss Let's Throw Water on Eugene? Well, you never listened to me. Why'd you pick that time to start? <laughs> You're stupid. <laughs> I'm stupid? Well, it's too bad that brains aren't hair, because if they were, you'd be Albert Einstein. <gasps> Oh, I'm just saying you're a toupee factory for Bozo the Clown. <laughs> Make me so... Oh! You just threw paper at me, you hairball. <laughs> there, I just did it again, Miss Fat Feet. <laughs> Are you saying I have big feet? No, I'm saying you have fat feet. F-A-T, fat. Fat, fat, fat. I could use your socks for sleeping bags. <laughs> Christy, I'm not talking to you, but if I were, I'd say you wouldn't believe what I just found. Well, I'm not talking to you either, but good job. Oh, we gotta show this to Julie. 
But first, do something with that oh. hair. Don't run in the hall. We're going to get detention. Don't... If you two guys don't get up on your own, I'm going to have you carried off to court. Sorry, Coach. Michael, can you do something? Uh, yeah, all right. Uh, Julie, you leave me no choice as team captain. I command you to play. Command? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Please? <laughs> okay. You've had your little fun. This game's about to start, and I want you to stop this foolishness right now. I don't think fighting for Mr. McHenry's job is foolish at all. Yeah, especially since he was let go for no good reason. I'll decide what's a good reason. Come on, kids. Be smart about this. You gonna throw away the biggest game of the year for some old teacher? To me, saving a man's job is a lot more important than winning one game. Yeah, I'm willing to make that sacrifice. Then you give me no choice. If you two don't get off this court right now, I'll see that both of you are suspended. Guys, look what we found. The letter to the principal. Read that section. Regarding the matter of Mr. McHenry, we should use his involvement in this week's anti-uniform demonstrations as an opportunity to let him go and create an opening for a younger teacher. Mr. McHenry wasn't fired because we protested. He was fired because they think he's too old. Mr. Beeson, this memo was signed by you. This memo was meant for the principal only. You can get in a lot of trouble for this. Oh, no. You can get in a lot of trouble for firing someone because of their age. It's illegal. And it's totally unfair. You guys were right to stick with this. Yeah, come on, you guys. Can I sit here? I command you. <laughs> Bring back that. Bring back that. Bring back that. Coach, Bring back back. I have to do something Bring about this. Back. You're right. I do. What an amazing night of sports we had tonight. Not only did Deering upset Indiana's top team, but they were also victorious in their protest to rehire a beloved teacher. That's all from Deering. Now back to you in the studio. If I ever wondered if all those years of teaching were worth it, you all proved to me that they were. <laughs> to my students. <laughs> to Mr. McHenry. To Julian Silk. To standing up for what you believe in. See you later. Well, Coach, I mean, aren't you going to come to the stadium? You know, we're going to go check out that Volkswagen Beetle for the car contest? <laughs> Two words. Bore in. Now, if you'll excuse me, i got to go see Sheila. She just got back from Hawaii and wants to show me her tan. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Coach, Sheila's in your office. Woo! Got a jet. <laughs> so, who's up for karaoke? I, uh, I can't tonight. Oh, come on, Sue. 
silk. Who's going to be soft to my Peppa? <laughs> and I need you to drown out Christy. <laughs> oh, that's nice. I'm just teasing. Man, every Thursday we karaoke, and every Thursday you bail. What's the deal? I know what it is. Silk's got a new girlfriend. Uh, uh, <laughs> no new girl. Look, I got to go. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Uh, uh. <laughs> Okay, he is definitely hiding something. Mm -hmm. Let's follow him. <laughs> Eugene, that's stupid. We can't follow him. Not without giving him a head start. <laughs> Followed me in? What's up with that? It was all Michael's idea. <laughs> me? Mary Beth, remember, you're in a church, thou shalt not lie. Oh, and thou shalt shut thy yap. It wasn't all my idea. Was too. Was not. <laughs> yes, you're stupid. Oh, hey. Okay. <laughs> so, why don't you just tell us where you're going? Well, I thought you guys would all make fun of me. Oh, for singing in the church choir? No way, man. Wearing that robe. Oh, yeah. Big time. <laughs> I want you guys to meet Charlotte. I told you there was a girl. There's always a girl. My aunt, Charlotte. You do this. Uh, guys, meet Charlotte. Charlotte, meet Michael, Antonio, Eugene, Mary Beth, Christy, and Drew. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Kenny's talked so much about all of you. It's good to finally put faces to the names, and what nice faces, too. <laughs> <laughs> you know my cousin Tyrone, right? I spent like every summer at his house. Well, this is his mom. She taught me how to play basketball. <laughs> oh, so that hook shot's your fault. <laughs> Guilty as charged. <laughs> we should come down and shoot around sometime. I'd love to. In fact, maybe I'll stop by tomorrow. Oh, cool, you oh, should hey. come by. <laughs> well, you're all welcome to stay, but we better get back. Uh, Brother Samuels gets pretty cranky if he's not at home in time for touch by an angel. Uh -huh. Eight o'clock, it starts at eight o'clock. Bye. Uh, I couldn't pass up the chance to mix it up under the boards with my favorite nephew. <laughs> oh, gee, hey, what's baby. Up? Hey, Coach, this is my Aunt Charlotte. Oh, nice to meet you. I hope you don't mind my stopping by. Not at all. I love it when family and friends stop by. It gives me a chance to show off. <laughs> Mary Beth, the little ball fell out of my whistle again. Allow me. Bring it in! I used to coach at summer camp. <laughs> hey, coach, my aunt knows a way around the court. <laughs> the girls got skills. Really? You play? Uh, I haven't played in years. I don't even know if I still know how to shoot one of these things. <laughs> <laughs> she does have skills. Uh, that was luck. Now that got my blood flowing. Who has got the power? Charlotte, you're awesome. Where'd you learn to play like that? With faith and a little prayer. You can do anything. That was just the Lord playing through me. <laughs> hey, maybe I can get him to play through me. <laughs> Keep praying. <laughs> hey, I see. 
How about uh, you and me against the team? We'll take them to school, but um, first, I gotta change my ride. Okay. <laughs> Okay, the rules are as follows. Each contestant must remain in the vehicle and may only exit the vehicle for three minutes every hour for personal needs. You know, potty break. You will be timed. I can't go under that kind of pressure. Oh, deal with it, you big baby. Eugene, get your elbow out of my neck. Well, get your neck away from my okay, elbow. Who said you that? Contestants will be disqualified for unsportsmanlike oh. conduct. Okay, I'm gonna kick someone. I'm using bad language. Okay, the contest officially starts. Wait! Okay. I got shotgun. Move over. <laughs> My daughter needs a new car and I'm getting it for her. Any questions? <laughs> hey, Silk, there's your little pro, bro. <laughs> hey, yo, Trey, check us out, man. This is gonna be my new ride. Silk, Silk, you gotta come home. It's Aunt Charlotte. She's real sick. They took her to the hospital. What? Oh, me? I'd better go. Let us know how she is. Thanks. See later, guys. Yeah, good luck, man. <laughs> I'm so bored I could barf. You can always leave. You know, it is Monday, and that means school. Ha! Later! <laughs> yeah, right! Mary Beth is excused from all classes this week of the 15th, having completed all homework ahead of time. Signed, Principal Watkins. How'd you get that? It was required in order to be in the contest. But I didn't... But she didn't... But I don't have one. Aww, Aww bye bye <laughs> See ya! Wouldn't want to be ya! <laughs> Well, you and me, big guy, you're going down. Oh, yeah? See this uh, championship ring? Quitters don't win these babies. Oh. <laughs> well, <clears throat> you see these diamond earrings? I pestered my dad every night for three years to get these babies. We'll see who wins. <laughs> Hello. How you doing, man? Fine. I'm doing okay. Is there anything we can do for you, man? No, thanks. Hey, just say the word, man. No, really. I'm okay. This stupid locker never closes. Silk, man, it's okay. Yeah, you're gonna hurt yourself. This stupid lock is always broken, man. You never can suck, Silk. So look, you're going through a lot right now. Why don't you just give yourself a break? Just give yourself a couple days, man. You'll feel better. Why does everyone keep telling me I'm going to feel better? Huh? Yeah, I'd like to know how they know that. We're just trying to help. How can you guys help? Hey, even God couldn't even help. I, I prayed and I prayed and shot and died anyway. What's the point of believing in anything? to come by and let you know how Silk was doing. Yeah, and it's not great. I mean, he's having a really hard time. Well, look, he's been through a lot. We're all just going to have to give him some room right now. It could be a while, though, Coach. I mean, he's really hurt. Well, it's hard when you lose someone you love. And the only thing that gets you over that is time. You're right. So, how long are you going to keep this up? You know, Mary Beth is really stubborn. <laughs> Listen, guys, don't worry about me. I got everything covered. Here comes Mary Beth. Oh, he can't do that. Christy, can he do that? What are the rules 
say. Uh, uh, ha. And then nothing. I don't think anyone's ever thought of it. But... <laughs> Ah, jeez. Quit crying. <laughs> Sorry. Who on you? I'll get her a tissue. Make Coach get it. <laughs> Why, you little faker? Oh, Coach, are you all right? Oh. Oh. This is all my fault. I think he's really hurt. Well, oh. Help him, but be careful. Ow. Ah. Stop. What? What? We're locked out. And the winner is, I guess, nobody. This is all your fault. Me? You locked us out. Well, only because you decide to eat more. I was just seeing if you're okay. You scared me. Ah, oh, jeez, this is ridiculous. We're acting like babies. You know what? You're a real tough competitor, Mary Beth. <laughs> Thanks. You're not so bad yourself, big guy. Oh, come on, I'll buy you lunch. No, nah, I'll buy it. Wh why can't I buy? Because I'm a girl and you're a guy? Oh, don't start with that. <laughs> Fine, you buy. I don't want to buy now. You buy. Well, you just said that you would <laughs> really hurting bad. Nothing makes sense. Why does Charlotte have to die? She, she never hurt anyone. Maybe you made a mistake. I, I used to believe in you. But now I don't know. Because you let me down. Then you let me down. Really bad. same without you. I know. But I'm never gonna stop singing. And if you listen real hard, you'll hear me. I'll miss you. Yeah. 
It's all good.